it is no longer news that a lot of you have invested a whole lot of money to be able to migrate to the United Kingdom with a skilled worker visa. As someone that is very passionate about helping you to relocate abroad, I have also taken it upon myself to join forces with you to still find out different ways, simplified ways, in which you can still migrate to the United Kingdom as a skilled worker visa using the best and the biggest recruitment platform in the United Kingdom, which is the NHS. As it is best is, the NHS is still recruiting from the overseas, right? Because the new government rule does not affect the NHS. Of course, NHS is the government themselves. Looking back, many of you have been finding it difficult to get a job within the NHS. Besties, if you should be getting a job with the NHS, whether you're a key assistant, you're a nurse, no matter your profession, you are permitted to come with your dependents. Good news, right? Yes. So besties, in today's video, I have decided to take it upon myself to introduce to you guys more ways, more ways recommended by the NHS that will enable you to get a job with them without no hustle and hazards. This opportunity I am sharing with you today is the step-by-step -step method, what the NHS is looking from you, what will make you stand out from the crowd if you really want to work with the NHS. Let's go deep into this. Overseas, today's video was sponsored by a company. This company is very, very interested in seeing that a lot of you migrate to the United Kingdom with a skilled worker to work here. And they said, no, we need to sponsor today's video. We need our people to come here and work. Besties, permit me to introduce you to the co-sponsors of this video that are also joining force with our positivity to make sure that you all come to the United Kingdom. Let me introduce to you Lefa. Hi besties. Do you live in diaspora? Do you live in the UK, Canada or the US? Have you been searching or have you been wondering how you can successfully send money to your family and friends back home? How you can successfully run your business from the diaspora back home? Have you been looking for the best opportunity to send money back home? Today, I come bearing good news for you all. I am excited and privileged to introduce to you all an amazing app called LeFi. LeFi is an international payment app that allows you to send money to Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, and seven other African countries at the best exchange rates in the market and also at a zero transfer fees. Amazing, right? LeFi is the app that myself, my family, and my friends used to send money to our family back home. The good thing about LeFi is that you don't just send money back home. If you run a business back home, you can as well use LeFi to bring money from back home to UK, Canada, or the USA at a very amazing rate. LeFi does not just send money to the wallet or bank account LeFi also stores your money in your wallet safely. LeFi is simple, it's quick, and it is reliable. Look no more. So what are you waiting for? Join the moving train and start enjoying all the benefits that comes with LeFi. You can download LeFi app on Play Store or an Apple Store. You can as well use my promo code ADAKINGS and get a £15 cashback for the first £100 transfer or more. Remember, 
Lefi is fast. Lefi is simple. Lefi is reliable. Lefi gives you the best rate at a zero transfer fee. See you at the top. Bye. Welcome back, besties. Not just those of you that will be coming from the overseas. Many of you in the UK already are stranded because your sponsor's license have been revoked. I'll tell you for free that the NHS is your shop bet. But just then, many of you have been getting it right, wrong on the applications, the documents you really need, and doing the applications the right way and knowing what to apply for. And I decided, no, we have to do something for my besties, and that's why we are here. Not wasting your time, besties, let us go straight to my screen. In today's video, I am going to teach you how to fish as always, right? Many of you always find it difficult to locate the description box. So let's go into my screen. Let's do these things together. Come with me. Let's go. Guys, this is Google. So when you come on to Google, the next thing you want to type is NHS job search, guys. All right. So when the screen opens, this accept analytic cookies all right so on this page so guys on coming to this page you can see on my screen you will see where to search for job and you see advice for job seekers guys this is where i want us to focus on and then we go to searching for job the right keywords to search and what and what you should take note of guys the first thing that captured my interest is applying from overseas. Let's hear what the NHS has to say to us while we apply from overseas to come and work for the NHS. All right. So now when I click on this, coming down, applying from overseas, they said the NHS is the largest single employer in the UK, employing over a million people, 5% of the UK's working population. Our workforce is extremely diverse and multicultural, just like our patients. And we often look beyond the UK and Europe to attract the best interests. So whoever that is giving you that information, that NHS is not recruiting, that is a lie, that person is misleading you, right? As you can see, Lefi is a reputable company in the UK for them to say other things. Let's come together and promote this and let our people know about NHS is a plus. It's not just coming from me, right? Applications are particularly welcome from professionally qualified healthcare staff from outside the UK. You see? So here are the main things to be aware if you are applying for a job with the NHS from the overseas. Here are the main things you should know. One, Check the person's specification. Besties, the video I made about NHS job application, she gets a lot of testimonies up to today. Go and check that video. Your person's specification is what sells you if you are interested in moving to the UK via the NHS. This is not a magic. This is reality besties. Now look at this. You will find a person's specification on all jobs advertised on the site. This sets out the requirements you will need to have to be considered for the role, right? Make sure you have the relevant experience and qualifications before applying for a job. Only applicants who demonstrated clearly in the application form that they meet the essential criteria for the post will be considered for interview. So guys, you see the reason why you shouldn't joke with the person's specification. You see the reason why you should relax and do all these things. The next one said, international recruitment of healthcare professionals. NHS jobs follows the code of practice for the international recruitment of healthcare professionals. This promotes the best possible standards in international recruitment and discourage any inappropriate practices that could harm other countries, healthcare system, or the interests of those who apply for the posts. All right. So professional registration for those of you that are into professional um, occupation like nurses, medical lab um, scientists and the rest of you doctors, you need to be fully registered with the NHS. All right. With example, those of you that are nurses, you know the importance of registering with NMC. Those of you that are medical lab um, scientists, you know the importance of registering with SCPC like that. All right. So now 
coming down right to work in the uk so there is a point-based system all right and then not having the right to work in the uk means that you are qualified to you know obtain this right by doing your visa and everything they said a point-based system is the uk's largest is the uk's immigration system for managing applicants by individuals from outside the european economic area and switzerland wishing to work train or study in the uk all right this Guys, the next thing I want us to quickly rush into is say, the one that said making a successful applications with the NHS. Guys, you can see that these people have given you tips, all right, um, on how you can apply to them, okay, and succeed. They say once you have successfully found the position you wish to apply for, you need to make sure your application does you justice and provides you with the best possible chance of getting an interview. This means reading the job description and person specification and taking time over your application, demonstrating your skills and your experience. Guys, they are still buttressing on the point that you need to take charge of your application, that you need to take into consideration doing a unique application that will stand you out of the crowd. But this, I cannot preach these things enough. You need this to get this job. You need commitment. You need patience. You need to be, you know, proactive. Very important. Let's go into this. Have good how good a match are you? All employers will be judging how well your application matches the person's specification. They are still hitting on this person's specification. If, if I were you, I am going to change my game after watching this video. All right. The applicants who closely match the person's specification will be the ones that are shortly said for interview. You see why I have taught you people, don't joke with the person's specification. Hmm. To stand the best chance of receiving an invitation is to demonstrate that you do have the skills and experience as stipulated within the person specification and provide clear example within the supporting information section. They need example. I have said this a lot. Give example. Give them example how you met it. Don't just write. All right. Never submit the same application form to wise. Always adapt it to show how you meet the person specification of the particular post you're applying for. Guys, this thing I've been appreciating to you all these years, NHS is here telling you also the secret to getting a job with them. Complete all the parts of the form, so read instructions within the advertisement and application form very carefully and make sure you submit everything, all right? Provide good supporting information. The supporting information section is the opportunity to sell yourself. Therefore, make sure you use it to your advantage. You can include into searching for perfect job, managing the interview, be my interviewer, pre-employment checks, copied applications for those that copy, offer letters and contracts. So basically, listen, this is another for another day. This is another video for another day. Let's take it a step at a time. Now, let's look at a potential job with the NHS. What do you search? Let's say you... Yes, we, know, we all know by now that the NHS can only sponsor from band three positions up. So when you want to filter your search, this is exactly what you should be typing in the search section. I will type health, healthcare assistance band three with visa sponsorship with visa sponsorship you click on that search button to search guys we are limiting our search to a band three position we don't want to waste our time so coming down you will see 13,000 500 and job found for healthcare assistant bantre with visa sponsorship. So coming down, you will see a lot. You see, all of them are written bantre by the side. This is to show you you are doing the right search. So no need to waste your time applying for what is not, you know, you know just put that bantre. So let's look, open this first job on our list. Let's see how, what you should check out before you start applying. This is healthcare assistant bantre, Gloucester. Look at the salary range, it's closing tomorrow, permanent and full time. So when you click on the job, the first thing you should look at is if this job can sponsor you. If the job cannot sponsor you, 
please do not waste your time so how do you know come down 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 all right when you come down you will see the person specification is there and then you will see this certificate of sponsorship any job with this cannot sponsor you don't waste your time so when you have identified that a job can sponsor you the next thing you want to do is to check the person specification which is here all right look at it read it save it somewhere before you start this job application it didn't end there you can read also relax and read about this job the job description all right see the supporting statement so come and download this is the job description and the person's specification download it and keep it somewhere because if you click on apply now you might not have access to this page so download it and keep it aside because you look at it to see what you are doing all right now the main duties of the job read about the job summary this is more important know the department that you are going to work for so they are looking for a healthcare assistant possessing that, 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 you know, they have given you what they want you to possess and everything. You have to be motivated, flexible, resources, team player, everything is there. All these things are what you should use to write to supporting statements. So guys, what are you waiting for? After that, read everything about the job and click on apply for this job and you will get started. It is that simple, basically, that's all. All right. But we will still go far in details in subsequent videos. I hope it is. As you can see, it is straightforward, it is straight to the point. The aim here is to make sure that a lot of you will be able to come and work with the NHS in the UK. Besides, it's not because I live in the UK. The UK is one of that country that have a very straightforward immigration pathway. It's not difficult. You just need to relax. And tell yourself you can do it. I hope and believe this video helps. Send me thank you to Lemfi that sponsored this video that wants to make sure many of you get job with the NHS UK. Please download Lemfi. If you're in the UK, Canada, US, as I said, the link will be in the description box of this video. And then my promo code, don't forget, is Ada Kings. Let's do this together. Let's support them for supporting this video. Thank you, besties, for watching this video. I wish you guys the very, very best of luck as you apply. And then we'll see you in our next one. For now, bye. Bye, besties.